Hey guys, welcome to the video. So this is my Splunk instance. I'll just go to settings. And under users and authentication, we'll click on roles. And here we see the top five, or the only five that really come predefined with Splunk. Um, here it lists um, capabilities and inherited capabilities. So you'll see admin has the most um, inherited. And if we go into um, something like admin, click edit, and view capabilities. You can see um, the difference here in what's inherited and what's native to the role. So a check mark means it's native to that role. And the dot means it's inherited from the user that has the check mark inherited for that role. So this is a good example here. Um, the check mark means that it's native to the user role for accelerated search capabilities. And then it gets inherited as symbolized by the dots for power and admin. And this is a very, very long list. Um, like I said, there's over 120 capabilities that you can kind of pick and choose from. Uh, so it allows for a lot of flexibility um, in your environment. When we go to um, create new roles for users, you can kind of pick and choose what capabilities you want that user to have. We'll take a look at another example. We'll just go into can delete that I mentioned um, really it's very selective. As I mentioned, delete stuff by keyword. It's not uh, really defined with any other capabilities besides deleting stuff from disk. So as uh, you can see, that's not even admin isn't up here as a defined capability that it could inherit. It's just really just for can delete. So settings again, users and authentication. Instead of going into roles, we'll go into users. Uh, as you can see, I'm the only user, Haley, on this role. Um, kind of lists the default app that I will launch into uh, once I log in. You can change this to go straight to search um, if you want to always open your screen to search and reporting instead of the launcher, which kind of lists all of your um, applications on the side here. And it gives me my role. Uh, it says I'm an admin role. So that's a predefined role that we've already discussed that comes predefined with Splunk. So we can go ahead and click new user. And I'm just gonna give a quick demo. Um, we'll just create uh, a power user. So you can give it the name uh, John and I'll just put power afterwards just to symbolize that it's gonna be a power user. Uh, John, you uh, make a password. You can change password requirements uh, as well in Splunk to be you know, less than eight characters or you can make it more restrictive. You can set certain um, password requirements for like age of use. Um, it's all up to you. And then we will give John the inherited role of power. And then here, um, just since it's a demo, I'm not gonna require password change on first login. Click save. So now you can see um, two users are displayed, mine and John Power. Um, just to give an example, when I click on settings as an admin user, um, we have a lot of options that I can click on. Uh, we're going to log out and log back in with John. And then you'll see um, the difference when you click on settings as an admin role versus a power role, it's more restrictive. Uh, the power role isn't gonna have all of the capabilities of admin. And that's just the easiest way I can think of to kind of display the restrictions on um, an admin versus a power user.